Hey everyone, welcome to another Dubai tour. Today we're showing you a four bedroom apartment located in the residences, which is operated by the Dorchester Collection. Now this particular apartment was priced between 38 and 40 million dirhams, <laughs> which is around eight to 10 million pounds. It has actually sold, so we can't reveal the exact price, um, but there are other four beds like this available in the building. Yes, and there's also one five bed penthouse with its own private pool available. But as you can see, we're in the outer downtown of Dubai. We've got the Burj Khalifa around five minutes away. This apartment is absolutely incredible. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, so we're going to be starting off at the entrance. You have an entrance doorway on this floor, but there's also another entrance door on the top floor too. So in this insane, I mean, look at this lobby area. You've got Calcutta marble on the floor and with the oak surrounding that as well as marble on the walls. But the best part is you've got these four mirror pieces on the ceiling, which is just a really nice bougie luxury feel. Yeah. You've got LED light strips surrounding there and some quite nice LED down lights before we go through the main doors. I'll quickly point out as well, there's a door there to like the maid's quarters, because I think if you're living in this type of apartment, you're definitely having a maid, aren't yeah. you? And that door's hidden as well, so you wouldn't even know it's there. Okay, moving on. On the left of me, we have a ground floor guest bedroom. The three bedrooms are on the top floor. So this is just a little guest bedroom down here if you need it. And a lot of materials that you see throughout are all imported from Europe, including a lot of the interior design. Mm -hmm. You can separate this space with this nice door, as you can oh, see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and really good quality, solid wood finishings throughout. And then this marble continues up to the staircase here. Wow. And now we're in the huge main area, like the family room or the great room, um, where you're gonna be hanging out. Okay, so this is the main open plan living dining space. As you can see, you've got floor to ceiling, double height windows, which bring a ton of natural light in and gorgeous long curtains over in the corner over there. So the ceiling lights in here are six meters, which is wow. just absolutely insane. Such an enormous amount of space in here and so much natural light coming through. We've got the Crestron um, system with the Sonos speakers through the surrounds and that's all the way through the entire apartment. It definitely gives like bachelor pad party yeah. vibes in here. There's a cool like balcony section up there, which I can imagine a cool DJ deck on. <laughs> and let's look at the interior finishes. I mean, a lot of these apartments are all coming completely furnished. There are yeah. a few penthouses which are available shell and core, but all of these ones are fully furnished. So you've got this crazy light chandelier, super modern contemporary feel. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything that you can see is going to come with the apartment. And you can actually choose from different finishes, so a lighter finish or a darker finish. We're actually going to go check out some of the other show apartments, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Okay, now let's go check out the kitchen and there's another lounge through there. Absolutely crazy. Let's go. Coming through to the kitchen, as you can see, lots of marble on this side. This is a wow kitchen. This is crazy. So all, much marble. Yeah, all the appliances are gagging out too, so top of the end appliances. And then this tap, it has five, five. features, doesn't it? Yeah, so what is it? What they are? <laughs> Hot water, yeah. sparkling, yeah. chilled. What were the other two? Room temperature. Room temperature. And warm. Warm, wow. Oh look, you can see it when you press it. Yeah. And that's the cooker branded hot tap. And so this kitchen is the show kitchen, is what it's called. So you don't really do cooking here. Mm, you yeah. might make a few cocktails, maybe make a nice acai bowl and serve some guests. But the actual kicking, uh, cooking kit kitchen yeah, is in there. That's through there, yeah, we'll show you that. Let's have a look through here though. So you've got loads of deep, deep, deep drawers and then cupboards on this side. What's pretty crazy is with the marble, it's not just the countertops and the worktops, they've actually taken it all the way up. Yeah. You know, even the shelving here is marble. Look at the thickness of that and the quality. It's wow. pretty insane. 
And I like actually how they've put chairs on this side of the bar store um, bar. Normally you have it on the opposite side of the island. Yeah. Kind of made an extra table here. You could actually have four people having breakfast here, having a nice chat, loads of space. And then as we work our way around, we've got like this extra cozy living area. We've still got the surround sound system through here so you can have your music playing. And this is cozy. All the TVs are Bang and Olufsen. Um, they're also great high-end brand. Yeah, and they're also included. But let's look at what we actually missed in here, which I just think is this crazy light fitting that just looks absolutely insane, right? The light fittings are just crazy in show apartments. Not seen anything like that before. Shall we head through to the prep kitchen? Yeah, you go, I'll meet you in there. Okay. Let me just do the full experience. So this is closed. So you wouldn't know it's here, there with the mirror. And then slide across. This is actually a really nice kitchen. Like our old apartment, this was the size of our mine and Matt's apartment kitchen. I think <laughs> this is still a big kitchen on itself. You just forget that when you're in such a huge space. So you've got the gas hob Gaganau here. And still an amazing view. Like you would think this would be like in the corner yeah. away, but this is such a nice kitchen as well. I love that because it's probably going to be staff in here cooking. I love that they've still kept it open. Yeah. They can enjoy the view. And you've actually, like you may have mentioned, got Gaganau throughout this entire space as well. It's not just the show kitchen. Um, so you've got high end throughout. Now we'll take a look at the fridges and freezers, which are the other side. Now these are Sub Zero brand, which if you're familiar is the top of the range. Um, they're not in there, by the way. <laughs> they're here, man. <laughs> here, here they are. are. We've we... seen a few apartments today in this building, so we're just still getting familiar with everything. Yeah, this is our first time being in them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more tours. Yeah, I know some of you may be thinking, why don't you just pause it and go back and do that bit again? But we like to keep our videos yes. natural. Hopefully you appreciate that. Let's go to the next space. Okay, what have we got next? So next we're going to go back out into the great room and I think we should show you the dining area, the office and work our way upstairs. Cool, let's go. Now as we go into the dining area, you can see we've got this insane 10 seater table. So there's so much space for this. Now let's check out the staircase that goes to upstairs. We've got the glass and also this quite cool brass finish that you can see here, brass metal, and then even more marble down there. But let's go into the office through these cool sliding doors and uh, meet Summer. Welcome to the office, guys. So a cool thing about all the apartments um, in this building, so there's 39 apartments, but they're all vertically allocated. So basically every apartment has a view facing the Burj Khalifa and that side with all the incredible buildings. And then on the road side, it's the Maiden Mall. I think I'm saying that right. And then the Design District. So you've literally got the best of both worlds. And I think there's one two bed that has the view of just the Burj Khalifa. But I like that they've basically put it so you can see the sunrise and the sunset. Yeah, totally agree. It's a very unique feature to this apartment and something really cool about the Maiden Mall you mentioned. It's yeah. going to be the largest mall in the entire uh, Middle East. I think the world. In the world, yeah. Bigger than the Dubai Mall. Bigger than the current Dubai Mall, which is just already ridiculous. That's what Dubai love to do, just build bigger, better, faster. Anyway, check out this office. Yeah, cool, right? We've got some nice feature wall on the back here with wood panelling. Nice, spacious, again, terrace outside. You need a home office nowadays. And now we've got the ground floor to show you on this floor before we head up. Stairs. Yeah, the ground floor bedroom. Yeah, just going to show these doors because actually this is what it looks like if you did want to, you know, separate the two spaces. They just slide like that, super easy. And there you go. Quite an industrial feel. Yeah, industrial, modern, kind of contemporary vibe. I'll close these and why don't you take us to that ground floor bedroom? Okay, guys, let's get to the bedroom. Firstly, as you walk in, you have loads of wardrobe space because I'm sure whoever is buying this apartment is gonna have a lot of clothes and nice things. Then to the left of me is the ensuite. And then through here is the bedroom. Spacious room and nice LED light behind the headboard of the bed. And you've also got a sliding door out to the terrace. I can't believe the terrace is literally wrap around the whole 
apartment. Totally, I think that's one of the best features. It's 2,000 square feet in total, which is bigger than an average two bed apartment just in outdoor space. Just in outdoor space. Do you want to show the ensuite actually? Because I didn't go in there. Yeah, come on, we'll check out the ensuite just through here. So we've got the big wooden door and you've just got marble everywhere. So you can see the sink base in here, loads and loads of marble, LED lights with a mirror, and you've got the bath here, toilet behind some frosted glass, and finally the shower. Um, now let's go, I think we should go now and actually check out the outdoor terrace and show you some of these insane views. Into the warmth of the <laughs> Dubai heat. Lovely, isn't it? So you've got these big sliding doors which open all the way up, connects the space really nicely. And now we've got the view of downtown Dubai. So you can see the Burj Khalifa in the background. Um, and one of the best parts about this view for me is all of the incredible yachts that you can look at. Now, of course, if you're buying a property of this value, you're likely to have your own one, which is good because these apartments come with 20 leased yacht bays. Um, so depending on the size of your boat, it will range from 50,000 um, dirhams to 150,000 dirhams per year um, for you to have your boat out there. But you can come out in the morning, look at it and yeah, take it out for a spin. And they also, I believe, allow you to use like Aston Martin SUVs. Yeah. So you just like ask concierge if you need a car and you can go drive around wherever you want. I think that's one of the best things about having this connected with the Dorchester. Yeah. Is all of the amazing amenities and services that you get. It's just that ultimate luxury lifestyle, really. Um, and especially here for Dubai as well. So it's yeah. so cool. Let's show you some more of the terrace. So it stretches around this way. Um, you can see it's all the way to the end there. So if you did want a mini bowling alley out here, you, you could arrange that. And then, yeah, we'll go check out the other side. Look at the size of that pillar. So I know, look how big this is. There's a massive terrace down here too. You've got lots of space down there. And if anyone's not familiar with the Dorchester, there's 10 hotels around the world. And this is the first one in the Middle East. So there's two towers. It's one building, but two interconnected towers. So there's a separate entrance for the residences, but you can use the amenities of the hotel as well. And I think, is it the one palm that yeah. they're connected with? So you can go over there and there's like a beach club, cool things like that. Now, um, out of the things that you're gonna know in Dubai, obviously we said about the Burj Khalifa, so you're just around three or four minutes away from that. Also five minutes or less away from the main current Dubai mall, but you're gonna have the other mall built there anyway. So you've got everything on your doorstep. Okay, now, Let's go up to the bedrooms. Got the main bedroom, which is pretty special and quite a cool feature in the bathroom, which I want to show you guys. So should we head up the stairs? Let's head up, yeah. If you guys are enjoying this video, remember to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. There's lots more to see, so stay tuned. Up these marble steps. We've got a floating staircase and then this cool perforated metal. It's got little holes in and LED light behind. It's quite a nice feature on the left of the stairs. And that's unique to this particular apartment as well, which is oh, super cool. That's cool. So up here we have another living area. The great thing here is you've still got amazing ceiling heights, um, big windows so you can take a look out to all the incredible buildings that side. But it's just a nice space that if between walking from your lounge to your bedrooms, because <laughs> it's pretty far, you get a bit tired, you can just think, you know what, I'm going to sit down here for a minute and from here, you can see all the way through the great room onto the buildings, the Burj Khalifa, all of downtown Dubai. So a really nice spot to also take in some views. Sofas and, are comfy as well. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think this would be a good idea to have like a reading area. You could build a library yes. bookshelf into there if you wanted to. It's good that they used a glass balustrade here. So when you're sitting down, you can see out to the view because if they'd put obviously um, a different kind of thing here, you, it would have blocked it. I found a cool book, the ultimate sneaker book. Oh, let's have a look. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, 1958. And yeah, you've Jordans. Got all the Jordans and everything in here. Turns and pages. Let's see what else is in here. Let's see. For those sneaker heads. Well, that looks an old one. Yeah. Air cool Max stuff 93 in there. bubble butt. This is a cool book, actually. Good for interior design. That's what it looks like. Anyway, let's carry on the tour up there. We've actually got four more marble steps up to the bedrooms. So let's go check out the three bedrooms. Okay, so welcome to the rest of the bedrooms. You've got this nice sliding mirrored door, um, which basically connects you to this entire area. There's also the other entrance, like you mentioned at the mm -hmm. start. 
So from there, if you wanted to come straight into the bedroom area, that's really easy to do. What's quite cool throughout this hallway is you've got these little inbuilt shelves um, where, they, again, they've put marble throughout everywhere. And I think that's really cool little unique feature. So we've got all the bedrooms up here. We've got the master bedroom through that way, but we'll show you that in a moment. Take us through this one first. Okay. So firstly, there's a lot of wardrobe space and some shelves here. I'll take you into the ensuite first on the right. So you've got dual sinks, again, marble. It's just marble everywhere, marble on the floor. And then the toilet through this privacy glass and then the shower behind the door. Now Matt will show you the bedroom. Now working through to the main bedroom, again, we've got this mirrored kind of, um, what would you even call that? Mirrored. I'm not sure. Like anyway, a frame? Like a frame, yeah. Mirrored frame. And then you come through to the bedroom area. All of them are quite uniquely designed, so they don't look exactly the same, which is always cool. Got the coffered ceiling, LED lighting throughout again. Um, and actually, although it's not quite finished yet, you've got balcony out here, so you've even got a terrace on this floor as well as downstairs. Okay, let's check out the other rooms. So we'll show you the main bedroom next. You've actually got some nice double doors leading into this bedroom. And there's like an entrance hallway with storage on either side. So you've got lots of shelves for handbags or yeah, I love it. It's almost like an entrance foyer to the bedroom. And check yeah. out these. So, wow, these are quite heavy, sturdy, strong doors. Really interesting finish on the handles, um, something like metal detailing. Yeah. And you've got this glass, which is um, so like perforated. You can't see through it. Shall we show the bedroom yeah. first? So here we are. Here's the bedroom. You've got light oak floors throughout. And then they've put these wooden timber frames on the wall gives it a bit of warmth and a massive sliding door out to the balcony with probably the best views I've seen of Dad Hunter White. Shall we see if it's open actually? There's there always a bit in our videos about summer opening doors. <laughs> and I can never do it, can I? Keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> Quite heavy. So you get up in the morning and go straight out. Go straight out. Let's go check the balcony out. All right, welcome outside. So yeah, I love the fact that they've got a terrace up here. So from your main bedroom, it's literally yeah. a private space and there's enough area to have like a good breakfast table, seating and everything up here. And yeah, views are just amazing. Look at the Burj Khalifa over there. Wow. I think what's great about the Dubai skyline is how many unique buildings there are. And the architecture. The architecture, all yeah. the different shapes and designs. For example, check out that building that you can just see over there. We might have to put a shot on Wait, top. Maybe come closer here. Um, almost with the disco ball in the center. <laughs> that one. And wait, there's one next to it too that's like leaning to the side. I don't know, it's, it's kind of crazy. You can actually get a good view of the terrace down there as well from the living space. Okay, we'll show you the ensuite now in the bedroom. There's a pretty cool toilet that I want to show you guys. Okay, here we have the ensuite. Oh, the door's closing on the videographer. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Come on in. The dual sinks are beautiful. The marble countertops, the mirrors, and then the best part is the mirrors don't take up the whole space, so you can actually see the views of the bird while you're washing your face in the morning. I love this space. I think this is one of my favorite interior designed on suites, yes. like the colors, the design, the lighting, really spot on. Um, so you've got this freestanding bath in the middle. Did you see that? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's quite in the middle, so I didn't you see it. You can't miss it, can you? <laughs> thinking, what am I on about? Interestingly, the marble floor is, is in a chevron style, in like a patterned chevron, which I've not seen before. And then Matt, Look how the, there's a seat in the bathroom. Wow. There's a. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this would be cool to just sit down while you're taking a shower. And, and across the other side, oh, it's just open. Oh, no, we need to put it back down okay. to do it. Okay. So if you walk in, this is how you just showed them. Yeah, all right. Okay, just go into the toilet. Na, 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 na. Oh, no, it's not one. Oh no, try again. Okay, so yeah, just going to the toilet. <laughs> I 
Okay, take two. Let's go to the toilet. <laughs> Four, two. <laughs> oh, look at that. So it's a Japanese toilet, um, a Toto brand. And you've got all of these features on the left here. And yes, you do have a butt wash. And it is. <laughs> Wait, don't right press one because it will come out the toilet. <laughs> yeah. A few different options for the jet wash there, depending on your individual needs. <laughs> and yeah, let's carry on. So we'll work our way to the dressing room. Why don't you show us through that, Sam? Another set of double doors. It's a little dark in this room, so I'm not sure what you can see, but lots of closet space, a mixture of like, oh, hold on, tinted glass and wooden doors. Yeah, it's nice. There's so much space. You've even got your sauna surround system in here as well. They've carried that out through pretty much everywhere, which is so cool. And then it flows back into the entrance of the room. So, you know, we went to the ensuite through those double doors. You could actually come through those kind of like a nice little flowy, flowy, what am I trying to say? <laughs> yeah, flow through. Okay, now let's go through to the last bedroom on this floor. We're a bit stuck in the door. So. <laughs> the video <crew> is stuck. <laughs> Sorry, cut, Joe. Cut. <laughs> Lastly, we have the third bedroom to show you on this floor. So we have lots of wardrobe space, very similar to the other bedrooms. Do you want to check out the ensuite? Yeah, ensuite is through here. So we've got a big shower, toilet, and then the marble basin over here and the bedroom is that way. So it's actually a blue theme in this room. They've got blue bedside tables and a blue bed and blue curtains, but very similar to the other bedrooms we showed you. Let's go back out to the favorite part of this apartment, which is the outside terrace. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this incredible apartment here in downtown Dubai. Um, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. We're actually about to go off and check another two apartments out in this same building at a slightly lower price point so look out for them in the next few weeks yeah please remember to hit the like button it really helps us out and we'll see you guys in the next video